Cooler Master released a butt ton of products over the years. Some really, really good and others not so good. But one category they have not failed in since we are doing this job is fans. Their sickle flows were amazing, master fans require a gun license to carry and their ARGB software which they label as addressable gen 2 RGB under the master plus plus Yes, master plus plus. I, I think they know how stupid it sounds and that they do that stuff on purpose. That software is one of the best out there. But now Cooler Master did the unthinkable. They released a fan without the word master in the name. Ooh. This is the Cooler Master Mobius 120. Ooh, what a satisfying name. There are two different Mobius fans, a non-RGB Mobius 120 and an ARGB Mobius 120P. Do not mix those two up. The P in 120P stands for performance. Those are different fans. Design-wise, there might be a lot of similarities, but the ARGB one is spinning quite a lot faster. For today, however, it is going to be all about the regular non-RGB Mobius 120. The name probably comes from the Mobius strip, a structure where you can take a strip, twist one end and then attach both ends, creating a somewhat of a special needs circle. And uh, who would have thought the fan has a ring blade design? A Mobius fan comes in a pretty regular package. A bit of touchy feeling imagery and some spec. Inside, the product is kept pretty raw. Only the fan accompanied by a set of fan screws. Something interesting we discovered after opening the box. When we first had a look at the product page, we were kinder under the impression that the fan is black with a slightly off black accent color for the wings and the rubber corners. But actually, this is very dark blue. Not that we don't, don't like it, I think it looks awesome, but it's just something to keep in mind if you're going to, for a specific theme. The 120mm fan can generally be regarded as being a bit over the quality level that we are used to when it comes to Cooler Master fans. The fan is extremely stiff, thanks to a bunch of reinforcements and, and whatnot, and it is basically unbendable by hand. The fan wings are very rigid and the 4-pin PVM cable used to power the fan is nicely braided using a fabric sleeve. Not that older Cooler Master fans were bad, we just feel like this is a small improvement over the years. The only thing that we were not so happy about is cable length. 30 centimeters is okay, many fans have 30 meter long cables but 50 would have been much more appropriate for case fan use cases. As already mentioned before, the fan comes in a ring blade design that combines seven heavily bent wings using a ring which is going all around the frame. And it's not the first time we've seen others and Cooler Master use this design to improve fan performance. If this really does help or not is kinda really hard to measure cause you will never get the fan without the ring without changing how the fan spins to some degree nor is there any manufacturer creating identical fans with and without the ring. However, from our own experience, we believe that the main advantage of using such a ring is that the fan directs the air more than a fan without the ring. This then can lead to better performance because you don't have such a spread effect which dilutes the amount of air at the point that you actually want to get the air to. Cooler Master also talks quite a bit about how their new loop dynamic bearing works, which to me just seems like a regular hydrodynamic bearing with the small difference that the shaft is no longer sitting inside the oil, but the oil can be pressed out in the top and then fall back into yeah, the rest of the oil. It's like hydro bearing with an extra step. But let's now finally get to some numbers. The Mobius 120 fan is capable of spinning at a surprisingly arbitrary number. 2050 RPM because we want to be different. At that speed, the fan is pushing up to 63.1 CFM at up to 2.69 mm of H2O, which is surprisingly close to an NF812X25. But how does that translate into real world performance? Well, letting the fan spin at full blast, they managed to keep the CPU at 50.1 degrees C above ambient. That's a tiny bit in front of an Arctic P12 and almost 2 degrees in front of Cooler Master's own SF120M ARGB, so not that bad. On the noise to performance side, however, it looks a bit better. 
although on the higher fan speed numbers compared to an Arctic P12, the Mobius was better at every step of the way, and compared to a Fantex T13 performance mode, it managed to outperform it after the fan speed fell behind 75%, which is actually a very good result. And when compared to fans with an incredibly good noise to performance ratio, like a Be Quiet Sidewing 4 high speed, the Mobius managed to keep up pretty well. It did not outperform it at any point, but it was very close from the beginning up until 50% fan speed. So overall, as as far as case fan use cases go, the Mobius 120 is a pretty respectable fan. It may not be the best out there, for sure not, but considering the noise to performance ratio, it managed to score some significant points. On the quality side, there is really nothing to nag either. Pretty robust, well made, good fabric sleeved cable, everything we like. And even the touch of blue is something very discreet, but enjoyable if combined with the right stuff. So from our side, as far as case fan use cases go, we can recommend it. Not, not being the best, but having a pretty good ratio is pretty much okay. The 2499 euro price tag or MSRP price tag could have been a bit better considering that Noctia's A12X25 still beats it and we believe it should be more in the 20 euro side but other than that it's a good fan. But okay this should be it for Cooler Master and their Mobius 120. At this point a huge thank you to them for providing it and if you want to keep watching have a look at our take on the Sickle Flows 120. Also amazing fan. On a side note, we have channel memberships and if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to buy a team of physicists which will spend the next four decades proving that a Mobius strip doesn't exist. Not that we have any benefits from it, we just like to watch the world burn. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.